Ah, de flûche, de flûche, de flûche, c'est charmant, Copenhague. Et oui, nous sommes ici dans l'ancienne capitale des Vikings, devenue un modèle de raffinement urbain au cœur du Danemark, où va se dérouler sur l'hippodrome de Klampenborg le derby danois. Alors pourquoi Francis vous amène aujourd'hui au Danemark, qui avec la Norvège et la Suède fait partie de ma sûr de la Scandinavie, parce que c'est une région du monde riche, ancienne, avec une profonde culture des courses de galop et pourtant cela est très méconnu donc c'est absolument indispensable qu'on vous fasse découvrir tout ce qui se passe au niveau donc du galop en Scandinavie et particulièrement au Danemark. La première étape bien sûr pour la course qui rassemble euh, la foule la plus importante de toute l'année en Scandinavie c'est le Macallan Derby danois à Klampenborg. Alors l'hippodrome de Klampenborg est très gossier. Pas dès en arrivant, sur que on est tombé sur ce grand monsieur, une superstar que vous reconnaissez sans doute les amateurs de football, monsieur en personne, Niklas Bentmar, ancienne superstar du football, joueur à Arsenal, that's it. Et notamment, what are you doing here at the racetrack? Il vient souvent aux courses ou pas? Do you doing once a year or just for, for, for this event? I go a few times a year when I can, but mainly I always go for the derby. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it, it's a good day out. It's nice with all the people. I have a lot of friends here. Um, so it's a good day and it's a good sport. You know, there's so many different factors to play in, which uh, I love the, the fact with the rider, with the horse, everything together has to be so such a good match. So for me, this sport is uh, really, really uh, great. Alors on vous avait promis des vikings, on en a trouvé, voici l'un des organisateurs, l'un des copropriétaires en fait de l'hippodrome, c'est Monsieur Cobjorn, parce que c'est un hippodrome privé ici, comme Ben Borfkiri. Vous pouvez-vous, Cobjorn, expliquer la histoire, la particular story, la particular state de cette racetrack, qui est juste privée Oui, c'est le seul privé de racetrack en Scandinavie, et nous sommes un seul groupe de quatre personnes. Nous avons commencé à un plan pour essayer d'attirer beaucoup de gens dans Copenhague. And uh, this is something we have been working on for 10 years and now we have an uh, average about 2,000 spectators every race day. And today is of course our big day, it's uh, the Derby with about 6,500 people here. The way we do social media is to exactly as you say, attract young people, attack, attract also young girls that want to come here and they want to have a good day. Just uh, having a good time, having a something good to eat, something good to drink, and then, uh, of course, watch the nice races, and then we attract the people like that. So it's a combination about the uh, racetrack and a kind of a nightclub. Et voici le moment tant attendu. Il est plus de 19h et c'est l'heure du Derby Danois 2023. Et c'est le même homme, Nils Petersen, un Danois installé en Norvège, qui présente les deux favoris en Kazakh, Rose et Cotton Eye Joe, monté par Per Anders Kraberg, et le grand favori avec la Kazakh ukrainienne, bleue et jaune. Il s'appelle Slava Ukrainie. Pas besoin de vous traduire. Et voilà, ce sont les deux grands favoris de la course. Et numéro 12 pour Slava Ukrainia et 10 pour Cotton Eye Joe. Et on va aller voir. Un homme qui est particulièrement tendu, bien sûr, c'est le célèbre, vous le connaissez bien, Adoville Morten Buscop. You see your two jockeys, parce que c'est l'agent d'Arcana euh, pour la Scandinavie. You see your two jockeys. Can you explain how are you involved in the both horses? Well, we, we, we bred Cotton Eye Joe, which is the pink one with the blue, with the blue bumps. Um, he's a good horse from Apelometre. The legendary, parce que l'appelomètre fait la monte à Yortbo Stud chez Morten Boskov, a, 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 a legendary uh, horse and Slava Ukraina. Exactly, and Slava Ukraina is not bred by us, but he's by our sire, Moajim. I bought him as an agent. Uh, I actually took a part in it myself. I keep 25%. You know, this is what we dream of. This is what we work for. We work hard all year, and this is the big day. The Danish Derby is a big day. Uh, it attracts a lot of people from the capital of, Cop of Denmark, Cop Copenhagen. Uh, it's a beautiful place, nice ambiance. I'm nervous. <laughs> I, have to, I have to admit. Portant Kazakh jaune et bleu comme le drapeau, Slava Ukraini, traduire gloire à l'Ukraine, a été ainsi nommé car l'un de ses copropriétaires danois vit dans le pays en guerre, dans la ville de Lviv, qui a été bombardé début juillet et pour les victimes desquelles 10% des gains du cheval seront envoyés. Alors nous allons retrouver qui se cache un homme 
qui est très important dans cette course, c'est Nils Peter Petersen. Il est né ici à Klampenborg, il entraîne désormais en Norvège. Nils, you are born here in Klampenborg, you train in Norway now, and you have the both favorite of the Danish derby. What does it mean for you? Nah, so obviously it's nice to come back home here where, where I come from and present nice horses uh, for a big race like the derby. And Slava Ukraina, he has a very special name, he's a very special horse for you as well? Yeah, no, he, he's been a good horse from day one, he's uh, always obviously have a big talent and he's uh, with the name, the whole history, everything, it's, it's become a bit special really, you know, and uh, mm. he's, um, he's, a, he's a talented, massive horse, a bit of temperament, so that's the thing is, he just have to keep everything Thing on the control and he does that then he's obviously the best horse. Det er komplet til det McAllen Dan Starby 2400 meter. Der røg låne op og starten er gået til Rod Starby. Yeah. Fem bad investment at Andreas Tapia Dalbak midt i nummer 7 Lucien udvendig der på nummer 12 Slava Ukraini. Så følger i sporene nummer 3, Sir Jeffrey, mellem heste nummer 1, Silver Flame. Nede i feltet har vi også nummer 4, Bull udenom også. Nu skal der blive afgøres. The McAllen Dance Derby er på vej. Slava Ukraine i øjeblikket i føringen under Carlos Lopez. Han arbejder på at få den hjem. Slava Ukraine i Lucien indvendigt. Det er godt nej, Joe. Slava Ukraine, godt nej, Joe. Prøv at Slava Ukraine. Alle er til Ukraine. Den vinder Slava Ukraine. Gør det for 10, godt nej, Joe. Alors ils n'ont fini plus des ils n'ont fini plus des embrassades. Tout le monde le félicite. Évidemment, il est très connu ici. C'est Morten Boskov, the King of the Vikings today. Voilà le roi des Vikings, Morten Boskov. Some feeling, hein? Huh? <laughs> well, and he didn't get the perfect race because there was no tempo on. He had to go. The plan was to stay behind because he can normally relax and come on speed. But there was no tempo. He had to go. He was third. But then it just goes. He's a good horse, this one. Your feeling in one word? Incredible. And the champion trainer, the star trainer, what is your feeling right now, Nils? Uh, big relief, big favorite, and there's always, you know, the expectations, and it's just nice to see it all works out. And good race, we had a double, fantastic result. Carlos Lopez, ici le winning jockey. Félicité de toutes parts, Carlos. Congratulations for the French TV. It's a very, very, very important win, but it was not easy because the horse was quite nervous. That's it. Yeah, yeah, it was a bit. Uh, it's always hot, so that was my worry. They don't gonna be too hot for this race. But uh, he come down in the race, and after 300 meters, he come down, and then he will relax. So he traveled very relaxed around. Did you feel the pressure, the enormous pressure that you have before the race with all this big team? Yeah, I was very nervous. I mean, uh, I'm riding the best horse in the race. Uh, and I mean, he's a very good horse. So, um, But uh, I have confidence, he's, he's a good horse. So I, I, I trust him. I come from Chile, I came in here in 2001. So I've been riding here for 22 years. Oh, okay. Well, it's been long, I know here. <laughs> Congratulations! Congratulations! Congratulations.